This is Matt Russell, and welcome to the Daily FX Forum. So here are the four pairs that I will be discussing this evening. The Euro Pound, the Aussie Kiwi, the Pound Swiss, and the Euro Swiss. So let's go ahead and pull up the charts. The first chart is the Euro Pound. If you recall during yesterday's report, I mentioned uh, the Doji candle here with a very long wick to the upside. I uh, mentioned yesterday that this could indicate a reversal, and the prices have been falling uh, since. I did mention during the report yesterday we should look to get an entry uh, somewhere near the middle of this candle wick, and we can see obviously prices uh, never returned up to that level. So uh, personally, I missed uh, the favorable risk to reward entry right now and still just on the sidelines uh, but maybe you did enter uh, at home uh, but again even even though this was a very good signal a very reliable signal uh, the risk is just was just too great in my opinion to enter uh, on the open uh, of this candle right here the next chart is the Aussie Kiwi and the rally continues uh, off the, the double spikes here uh, beneath the lower channel line and again uh, I was looking for an entry uh, closer to the lower uh, s support line here from the channel and prices uh, did not return back to that level uh, over the short term if I zoom in a little bit here uh, we might use the low of this candle right here uh, as a reference point the only issue here is that it is uh, a borderline uh, doji candle as well so I'd like to see how this candle uh, plays out just in case we get a reversal here this could also be uh, an evening star reversal pattern however I still do have that bullish bias uh, based on these long candle wicks here and also you know them forming beneath the lower channel line. So again, this might need another 24 hours or so uh, to play out. The next chart is the pound Swiss. And the same thing here in, in reverse in terms of the euro pound. We can see I mentioned the long trade here based off the long uh, doji candle uh, with a long wick to the downside. But again, uh, prices did not return anywhere near the, the midway, uh, the midpoint um, of that doji candle. So again, there was no favorable risk reward entry. And I would just wait now, sit on the sidelines to see if the market does uh, present, it with, present us with a more favorable risk reward entry. The next chart is the euro Swiss and not much has changed here either uh, prices are as prices now are, are beneath the, the previous lows here are actually just a, a few pips above it I might draw this line right here uh, and have a tentative uh, bearish bias against the 51 25 area but again it, my confidence is very low uh, in this line right here and I'd have to see a, at least a, another candle or, or so play out on the daily chart again my name is Matt Russell thanks for listening and please stay tuned for a preview of the daily FX forums I want to go ahead and formally welcome everybody to the Daily FX Forum. And I want to explain a little bit about the forum and the wealth of information uh, that you can obtain from the forum and how to go about doing so, how to find the things you want. So I'm just going to dive right in uh, right now. And this is dailyfx.com. This is usually how I navigate my way towards the forums. Obviously, you know, it really depends on each individual uh, how they access the forums. But this is how I go ahead and do it. I go dailyfx.com, go ahead and click on the forum on top. And this brings you to the Daily FX Forum homepage. And this highlights the most recent posts uh, with the subject. So if you see anything that you're interested in, uh, you can obviously go ahead and click. What I like to do is, is click on the Forums tab like this and go ahead and view the forums um, in, in the normal, typical way that forums are set up. And, and here you go, there are a bunch of threads down here. And I'm just going to go ahead and go directly to, to the forum, which y the video you just viewed, where you viewed it. So let's go ahead. This is the Daily FX Instructor Tips Forum, Identifying Trades with Daily FX. That's me. And go ahead and click on the most recent post. So this is where you are uh, right now viewing the video, although the video will be uh, the video beneath this one that you're watching right now. Um, um, so normally what, when I'm on the forums and what I would do is just scroll up to the top. Certainly you can check out uh, any of my previous videos and, and uh, you know, especially if I did mention them uh, in, in the report or in the video that you're viewing uh, at that moment. And what I will do is go ahead and click on the forums and then look for, for the forums that I like, you know, that I have interest in. Uh, one of them would be uh, the, the Euro dollar forum. And, and this, again, it, it's really uh, up to each individual trader as to exactly how they want to use the forum. Personally, uh, what I like to do, the first thing I do is I'll go to the, the Euro dollar thread. I'll go and click on the latest post. 
And what I'll do here is, and again, uh, I just want to, you know, really emphasize this point. It depends on on your exact mindset when you're viewing. Uh, and me as a trader, I have some experience. So what I do, and how I personally use the forum, is I go through and I'll read what what people are saying about the euro, what their trade ideas are. I certainly, you know, try to maintain my own individual uh, objectivity, and I really don't uh, pay much attention to what other traders are saying in terms of my um, in terms of my trading. I'm not going to certainly see something on a forum and then go jump into a trade. But what it will do, it will open my eyes to certain trading opportunities, maybe a certain line or a certain time frame that I haven't looked at before. So that's one way that I personally uh, like to utilize the Daily FX Forum. Uh, but certainly for newer traders, there are plenty of topics uh, that you can go over. Um, let's say you know you're not, you might not be well versed in terms of certain currency pairs that you want to learn about. Scalping, you might not know what Elliott Wave is. You can go ahead and click there and see exactly what you can, you know, what you can understand, what you might not understand, and then certainly feel free to ask questions about any of this, to any of these topics that you have. Uh, maybe the carry trade, maybe you have some questions about that, or the sentiment, the SSI, um, or the latest economic news, um, FX programmers, the webinars, MT4. Any questions about active trader, you can go ahead and click on those threads. Uh, so again, it's very free, very open and there is a wealth of information here and just waiting for it to, to be utilized. Again, this is Matt Russell. Thank you for listening.